Hello, everyone. Good to see you again. Now, I'm going to apologize to you right off the bat. Of these next two jokes, I probably shouldn't even tell them because they're so lame. <laughs> these might be the lamest jokes I've ever told on here. But, hey, I'll laugh afterward just to make it pretend like they're funny, okay? <laughs> uh, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> All right. Whoever invented the not-not jokes should get a Nobel Prize. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. And this next one is just lame. <laughs> what, what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Bree, stupid. <laughs> oh, those are bad. Uh, let's just pretend I didn't even tell those. Okay. <laughs> oh man, they're so dumb. They're funny. All right, let's get on with our Bible trivia. We got five uh, or ten questions worth the point of piece. Two bonus questions. <laughs> man, those are lame. And then uh, uh, those, those are worth three points apiece, and you can choose whether you want to to um, count them or not. Do you have a total uh, possibility of 16 points? So let's begin. According to Proverbs 3, verse number 6, what will God do for us if we acknowledge him in all our ways? Make our path straight, bless our families, or send us on a mission? Well, Proverbs Three, verse number six tells us that it is to make our pass straight. Number two, according to Proverbs 3, verses 9 through 10, what will the Lord give you when you honor him from your wealth and from your first or from the first of your produce? A fruitful harvest, barns filled with plenty, or ripe vines? Proverbs Three verses nine through ten tells us the answer is barns filled with plenty. Number three, according to Proverbs three verse eleven, don't load the reproof of the Lord or do what to His discipline. Refuse it, laugh at it, or reject it. Proverbs three verse eleven tells us the answer is reject it. Number four, according to Proverbs three verse number twelve. What does the Lord do to those he loves? Reproves them, rejects them, ignores them. Proverbs 3 and verse 12, as I said, it has the answer. It's reproves them. Number five, according to Proverbs 3, verses 13 through 14, what can provide greater profit than silver or gold? Diamonds, wisdom, or friends? Of course, the answer is wisdom. The bonus question, again, associated with this last one I just asked, and you don't get any extra help. Here it goes. According to Proverbs 3, verse 15, what is wisdom more precious than? What is wisdom more precious than? Jewels. That's the answer, jewels. Okay, let's move on to our next set of questions. Number one. What happened to the fig tree that Jesus had cursed? All its fruit fell off. It withered. People wouldn't go near it. Mark 11, verse 20, tells us that it withered. Number two, who reminded Jesus that he had cursed the fig tree? Was it Peter, James, or Matthew? Mark 11, verse 21, tells us that it was Peter who reminded him. Number three, According to Jesus' teaching, what should the believer do when he prays? Bow his head before God, forgive others, or prepare for prayer by being quiet? Mark 11, verse 25, tells us to forgive others. Number four, what the chief, uh, I'm sorry, when the chief priest, scribes, and elders questioned Jesus, how did he respond? Was it with silence? by quoting the Old Testament or in parables. Mark 12, verse number one, tells us the answer is in parables. Number five, when Jesus was sitting near the treasury watching people put in money, who did he point out as a generous giver? Was it the head elder, the rich merchant, or a poor widow? Mark 12, verses 41 through 44, tells us that it was a poor widow, which all of you got that right. Here's our bonus question, again, associated with what I just said. How many coins did she put in the receptacle? 
How many point, uh, coins did she put in the receptacle? Mark 12, verse 42 tells us that it was two. Well, I hope you did well. Uh, I think this round was easier. Uh, the last one, the last tr Bible trivia I did, <laughs> that one was a hard one, or at least I think it was hard. But I bet you did a lot better on this round uh, this week. So hope you have a blessed day.